So one of the toughest aspects of creating a YouTube video for me is the title and it happens to be the most important part. But the club that we're going to be reviewing today gives me endless opportunities for video titles. We could have the golf club with a wooden looking shaft, the golf club with parts from outer space, the golf club that smells like wet socks. It, it does, honestly. Ugh. And the smallest golf club head that I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyways, you get the picture, okay? This club has a lot of things going for it, which is exactly why it's a perfect candidate for the next instalment of Out of Bounds. So one golden rule before we start this review, there are gonna be no puns in this review. Okay, usually out of bounds, it's covered in puns, but there's a ban, I've just decided. No matter how perflex this golf club actually is. Oh dear, that pun was so pungent it made my eyes water. Anyway, in my hand, as requested by a few members of Team Al, is the Perflex TCD thingy. To make this even stranger, it's a four and a half wood. So the rumour is, this club is still current. It's still available. All you've got to do is go to your local store, find the four wood and the five wood stands and sprint directly in the middle of it. Once you've done that, you will be in this special area called the four and a half wood area, where you'll be greeted by Hagrington and Duffnador. Warning though, it doesn't work if you're mulligan born. Nearly missed that. Speaking of nearly missing the golf ball, have you seen the size of this club head? Right, that's like two golf balls makes up the entire face. Platform four and a half, modern driver. <laughs> I think it, that doesn't do any justice. That's level now. I think it's the smallest club we've had on here. So this club is made of a urethane plastic called Vexler or Vexlar. Tried to Google it, can't find it either. Apparently it features no wood, no metal, and no graphite. The screws in this must be made of marshmallows. So the story behind this is it took four years to create a plastic that's strong enough to withstand this. Still in one piece. Well, that's good news. And responsive enough to increase ball speeds. You've got to love these slinky hosels, haven't you? Look at it. <laughs> There's no doubt though my kids and grandkids in 40 to 50 years time will look at an adjustable hosel like it's farted in a library. Like all Out of Bounds videos, there is usually a specific challenge that we set the golf club in question to try and achieve for it to go on the wall. That's not a wall yet, but it soon will be a wall. I'll show you the wall when it's finished, but it's not finished yet. We've got other priorities in the wall, but when it's done, you can come and see the wall, enjoy the wall, wall. So the goal is usually around 300 yards for it to make, I'm not saying it again, that thing. But four and a half wood is gonna to struggle to get 300 yards. Even a modern one is probably not gonna get 300 yards. So it's pretty tough. So we need to rethink the challenge. So I think if we can get this 260 meters for yardage heights, that's roughly 285 yards, it will go on the roof holder over there. I've seen some intimidating things in my time. This is right up there. Oh, that was out the bottom. Bullet straight. We're not on hole watch, are we? That's not gonna run. No, it was on it. We've had a few elephants in the room in Out of Bounds episodes and we've got another one to address. Yes, it looks like it's got a wooden shaft. Yes, John Hammond, wants his walking stick back. Welcome to Jurassic Park. It's actually quite good for me, that. That felt pretty good. That's flying quite well. It, I mean, you can tell there's a lot of spin there. First bounce, it's just stop. Total, 255. Another interesting fact about this thing is it comes Ready? 
with a lifetime guarantee. And for a first, I can believe that because it looks like someone's drawn a six when playing the game of Jumanji and this has popped out. Stranger things have come out of the Jumanji, I can assure you. So in the 1980s, I think it was 88-ish, I could be wrong, if you know, please stick it down in the comment section. Finding information on this stuff can be very difficult at times. Um, usually, if you're lucky, there'll be a few eBay listings, but there'll be no information below it because someone's just raided the granddad's loft. It's literally just buy it now, I don't care, I just want to get rid of it. But this was an exception. There was one listing from the New York Times. Um, it was an article from 1988. Um, this photo featured on the front cover of this club, and the text below just said, gain 10 to 30 yards more with this golf club. It was like a vintage version of Jack Ham, the original infomercial on a 1988 New York Times article. <laughs> I giggled. That's the shape we want. It actually feels quite nice. It really does. That's a short one. As I'm a big lover of all things space and astronomy, it was cool to hear that the material used in this head, that Vexler, Vexlar, it was actually originally designed for outer space. Hence why it's so durable. Oh, I... getting a bit hooky. I just can't get over what it looks like. It's very intimidating. Um, I'm gonna show you as many shots from this position as I can. It's so funny when you put this side by side address position next to a 2020 driver. Yeah. Ooh. Meant to cut. That was one of the better feeling ones. That's flying well. Just gonna pitch and stop dead because I don't think I've got one under 3,000 backspin, which, remember, it's a four and a half wood. So if anyone's interested, I put the averages down below. As you'll see, average was 130 miles an hour, which I've definitely got to increase. Now we're focusing on this 260 meter challenge, so time to gain some speed. The biggest surprise for me is obviously this is not actually a wooden shaft. What actually is it? Well, it's a, it just says the shaft's just got a sticker saying Perflex TCD, but I don't know what this actually is. Right, first shot, 260. Increase speed, let's go. Where are you going? Increase speed equals increase side spin. 255. I'm going to aim this one to the right so it comes back. You know what's going to happen here, don't you? Oh, it is. It actually is coming back. Whole watch. No, it's not. You can't call that out. That blue ball flight is really making me feel sad. Felt good, sounded good. Come on, give us 260. It just stops dead. It's like it stops like a seven iron. 250. Every time I say something's gonna be easy, it never is. Felt good, felt very good. Oh, this is not gonna be doable again. Failing challenges since 1881. Don't know what that was. Oh, where did that hit? That wasn't the face. Wally, roll. Two, six, one, boom! It is officially on the wall. Shot 10, we may as well have one more because it's shot 10, right? Don't know who made that roll up, but there you go. Please be low spin. <laughs> That's longer. Two, six, three. How can this, this could just be a crescendo. I'm gonna go again. Probably the best I've hit. Don't pitch the green, pitch short, pitch short. Oh, it's pitch the green, roll out. That was unfair, that was going. <laughs> oh, it's got so much zippage on it. So this was the shot that I thought we could have got 270 meters. Um, 
Ball speed 161, cover speed 115. To be fair, the one after that, we hit um, 164 ball speed, 190 mile an hour clubhead speed, but the backspin was higher. So to get that backspin down, we're gonna get a rocket, and 270 is definitely on the cards, but I've got to go home, unfortunately. So it's done its job. The old wooden John Hammond cane walking stick. It has, it's going on the wall. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you enjoyed it, and of course, let me know if there's any other out of bounds clubs that you want. I have made a huge list on uh, what to order and what to get in next. So there are a lot coming up, but your ideas are helping me out. So just put them down in the comment section and I'll do my best to get hold of them. Social media links are below. Make sure you give us a follow. And of course, hit the subscribe button if you're not already a member of Team Al. Thank you very much.